Hey everybody, it's Matthew Reinhardt here. Today we're gonna make something really cool. We're not doing an art class, we're doing, well, we're doing the DIY craft. We're gonna make our own puppet today. We're gonna make a really cool um, DIY pop-up puppet. And I thought, just for a little change, um, I would be the one that actually goes through these templates, because they're a little tougher. And I thought, well, this is gonna be really fun, because you know, okay. I'm gonna admit it, I love Harry Potter, okay? Um, I just released my latest book, um, Diagon Alley, which is a pop-up guide to get Diagon Alley, of course, and it's really cool, and there's all kinds of characters in it, and I thought it would be really fun to do a Harry Potter-inspired craft. And so today, this craft that we're gonna make, we're gonna make our very own um, house elf puppet. All right, so first what you're gonna need to do to get started with this DIY pop-up, house elf craft is you're gonna have to print out these three pages of templates onto cardstock and you can use any color cardstock you like we are going to use a paper clip oh I almost forgot to have my paper clip around and a ruler hey ruler come here you talking to me all right let's use this paper clip and let's start scoring all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay my ruler along every single dotted line watch this and i'm just going to lay it along there and i'm going to rub the edge of my paper clip along all of those dotted lines we're going to do all the dotted lines first so wherever you see a black dotted line you're going to score that line see just like this i'm rubbing and i'm pressing a little too so let's see there's another dotted line so what do we do we score it and see now you can see it, it presses into the paper a little and it makes it easier. When we cut out these pieces, it's gonna make it easier to fold along all those lines because it's really important in pop-ups to have folds. All right, so let's do all the rest of these. When you're doing this, I know I move pretty fast, but if you don't, it's okay, all right? Um, take your time and get all those score lines done. Sometimes I work really fast, and you know why I work really fast? Because I've been doing this for a long time. The next thing we do is cut out all the pieces. And how do we know where do we cut out these pieces? We follow all the black solid lines. That's where we cut. So we get a nice pair of scissors that we like to use, that we're comfortable with. And uh, we cut out all the pieces, just like this. Now watch, sometimes when, when it's hard for me to get around a corner or something, I actually move the paper and cut really slow. See how I just slowly cut out those pieces? And I take my time and I go around those corners real slow. Now, if this pair of scissors, don't, you don't have to use a big, big old pair of scissors like this. See, sometimes too, I'll cut off a little extra in case it, it's easier for me now to get in this curve. All right, so I'm gonna cut out all these pieces. Let's count our pieces. I don't know if I do this right. So, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven pieces, and we'll, oh, we left this part out. What do we, so we got to cut that. How do we do it? How are we going to cut that out? Well, here's how I like to do it. Let's fold this just in half right there. And that should be pretty good. Yeah, there we go. Let me take a small pair of scissors, go like this, snip it there and snip it there. And look, we got our way in. We got our way into that little slot see how that is now there's another way you could do it let's see here you could use some nice simple scissors like this now i'm going to show you another way too besides just folding the piece in half there's another way i always have other ways you know that let's take a sharpened pencil like this what we can do is poke the pencil right through just like that and then we can take our nice pair of scissors if you got one like that poke it in there and cut out those slots. We need those slots. But the first thing we gotta do is we see this, this piece here, this big one with, the, with these ears on it. Well, we're gonna take and fold it in half along that fold, just like that. 
we're gonna we're gonna need some glue whoa, whoa. glue just regular old craft blue some glue blue it's been a long day craft glue and we're gonna stick it in this space right here we're gonna glue it right in there see how i did that and sort of painted it all around inside there i'm gonna flip it over and press it down onto itself see i'm just pressing it so that it, it's it's glued to itself all right now what we're going to need to do is we're going to actually take this piece and then this gray piece with the two slots on it see and what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick it going through and through see how i did that let's do that again ready for me to do it again okay we're gonna we're gonna see we can see the gray tab marks on here so we're going to stick it in there at the top and then out through the bottom just like that so, and that's what it looks like on the back all right now look for the letter a see that little a there now do we see a place oh it says glue a here all right so what we're going to do is we're going to glue it to this area and what i'm going to do these gray areas these show you where you're supposed to put glue See how I just painted it just within that. Don't glob it all over, just in that space. And then I'm going to fold this A tab under and match that, sh that tab shape with that gray shape where the glue is, just like that. See how I did that? See where it is under there? I'm going to just press it, make sure it's in place. <laughs> press it down. And let's look at it. See? See where it is under there? See see where that tab is glued down? That's where the A tab goes. And it should be able to, you should be able to fold this just like this. So now, when you pull this tab, watch what's going to happen. Look at it moves. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cool? We're going to take this out again. It's real easy. We just slip it right out like that. And we're going to glue down. We're going to look for on these arm pieces, there's a little C. And the C is going to glue. You're going to see it's right there. So it's going to glue down right there. We're going to put some glue in that gray area. And we're going we're gonna to line up where that tab goes. See? see how that goes? See how that tab is the same shape as the gray? So it fits exactly on top. Just like that. Press it down. Make sure it dries got dry for a little bit and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna like we did before now watch look at that see that tab under there see where that B is it lines up with this shape look at that so I think what we need to do is we're gonna pull this back out again and we're gonna fold this tab a little make sure it, it knows where it's supposed to fold see how it's folding like that and let's glue on this tab right here, on this B. We're just going to put some glue right on top there. And we're going to, again, what do we do? We, we slide it through the slots back again. And watch, that tab lines up exactly with this area. See how it lined up exactly? Look at the back. It fits exactly where that goes right there. So now, make sure it's nice and flat when you're gluing it on. Alrighty. We need to find this piece here. This is E. Alright, it says glue E. Well, I know E kind of looks like an egg, you know, so that's where that's going to go glue right here. So we're going to put some glue there. And then, see this F? F here? We're going to fold it under. And if you look, this is where F is. Let's pull up close. See where F is right there? So it's actually going to glue there. And then the top of the head is going to fit right there, just like that. All right, so let's do this. Let's put some glue here. Remember, don't use too much. And if you're going to use tape for this, you have to use double stick tape, not regular tape. But I prefer if you use glue. And I prefer you know craft glue like this, like Elmer's glue or something like that, rather than using something like um, glue stick, because it's just not, it doesn't have the same strength. But anyway, so we've got glue in that gray space and glue there. And watch, this lines up perfectly. Look, 
we'll do the little tab first. See how it lines up just right there? And then we fold it over like that. And then the top of the head fits right there. All right, I forgot to do a piece. I forgot to use D. D is, um, I, we went to E already and um, I forgot D. So what we do with D is we actually we fold this back. This is gonna be the base of our puppet. So we're gonna fold it back just like that. And we're gonna put some glue on this piece right in the gray area, right? Cause that's where D goes, just like that. All right, and then what we do, we're just gonna line it up just like that and and it should fit let's look behind him see it fits exactly in place right there I'm just going to press it down with my fingers and this way when we pull our tab for our character see look he moves up and down and then we need this base all right what next you ask what next well let's well, let's put on his let's put his little nose on okay so the nose is kind of tricky and it, it, it says there's K and um, K that goes, and these two, these fold under like this. There's one side, and there's the other side. And see how it does that? We're gonna put a little glue there and there. And, we're, and there's this triangle right here. Let's zoom in here. It's a little triangle. There's, there's like, it's, it's cut in half. So we put one side of the triangle going that way. Oops. This is delicate, so we gotta take just take our time, press it down, do one side at a time. There's one side, right? And then we glue the other part of the nose in place just like that. And if your fingers are too big like mine, I sometimes use something like, let's see, what can I use? I can use the tip of my scissors to press down those tabs. So see, there's his nose. It's a real long house elf nose. I am Dobby. Oh, I have no eyes yet. Well, we'll get to that. We'll get to the decorating. All right, soon enough. So we've got the we've got the body. We've got the head. We've got the nose. Got the arms. We need his body. And this is going to be his body. And we're not going to. This is this part. We're going to make his legs and his body, and we're going to attach them. So let's start off, and let's glue on these legs. Let's glue these tabs to his little feet. See here are the feet. And we're just gonna make a little glue right on that tab and it goes right there. There's one. Oops. Don't be as sloppy as me. Look, look how sloppy I am. There's one side. And then let's glue this tab right there. What do we do? We make, put a little glue just in that space. Don't use too much this time, Matthew. Don't use too much. Okay. We press it just in place. They're doing, they're fixing the plumbing here in my studio, so it's kind of a mess. Um, so if you hear that noise, that's what's going on in the background. All right. So then we've got the legs. And we've got the little feet attached to the legs. So what do we do next? So we're going to stick his legs on here just like that okay see how that fits that that tab now pull in close so you can see see how that shape matches that shape i'm just gonna glue it on yeah, da, da. and then oop, there's one more what's that oh that's where the other leg goes and we're just going to use some glue get it just in place you know Dobby was one of my favorite characters from the Harry Potter movies and and it wasn't and I didn't like him at first to be honest I did I thought he was really annoying at first but I, I grew to love him because he was just he was such a loyal friend um, okay so we've got the front of his body now this piece is actually gonna glue on and it's gonna it's gonna sort of uh, be the front part of his body and so what I think we're gonna do now at this point we are going to decorate Dobby, all right? So let's flatten him. These, we can decorate. This is the front of his body. This part you're not gonna see. You're not gonna see this part, you're, but you will see his eyes and his ears and his hands. So let's, I don't know, what, what can I use here? Hmm, let's use some markers. You can use crayons. You can use whatever 
you want. And you know what? You don't have to do anything crazy with decorating. Sometimes the simplest decorations on your pops can be the best, right? All right, okay, so let's glue on. Now you're gonna see there's two, there's two tabs here on the side of this body piece and it says, it says L and M, right? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna act, or does it say, no, it says L and, can't even read what I wrote here. It says L, M, and N. Okay, so I'm a little wrong. Um, so we're gonna do these side ones first. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold them underneath like this, okay? And this is going to fold under on the bottom. And let's start with this first one. We're going to put some glue on his body right here. See that gray space right there? That's going to be where the L side goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just line it up along that edge there, just like that. And let's see. Here. We're going to you can't even hear me talk. That is where that goes. See how that glues on there? Isn't that cool? And then what's what's cool is this is gonna glue on the opposite side inward, just like that. And it's gonna make a curve. So let's let me show you. I'm gonna put some glue right here. And be careful with your glue because you don't want to glue down any of your pop-up pieces. Alright, so see how I'm pressing it into place. Now you don't want to fold it in the center because look at what's gonna happen. See how that makes that nice round? That's gonna be the body. That's that's a real nice, like sort of round and dimensional body there. And then we have this little M tab here. And guess what? That, I'm burping. <laughs> and guess what? This little tab here is gonna glue right there. So we put a little glue right there where it says M, and then we glue it into place. And what you can do is you can either hold it like this, or you can kind of stand him up. And you can press it into place, and then you can use something like a pencil, or let's see, what do we got? Or your scissors, or let's see. Oh, um, maybe I'll use the edge of this marker. I'm gonna stick it down there and press that tab into place, just like that. Hey, Dobby. Oh, wow. So there it is, the tab is glued into place. And there we have our very own Dobby Puppet. Now you gotta let this all dry. You could decorate it more too. Now I know I didn't decorate this very much. But um, here's what he looks like at first. He's like, oh, I'm so sad. And then see this pull tab back here? All you have to do is pull it. Watch. Oh, I love you, Harry Potter. Or whoever. Oh, Matthew, you're so cool. Um, and now you have your very own Look at that, are your very own Dobby puppet. And he kind of stands up, he can sit up. You can sit him on your desk. So get some good lights on Dobby. Hey Dobby. He's so cute, look at that. And this is inspired, of course, by Harry Potter and, and all the Harry Potter movies and stories and um, um, also inspired by my new pop-up book that just came out, um, The Pop-Up Guide to Diagon Alley and Beyond. And, um, it's been really fun to be able to create this Harry Potter inspired craft with you. What do you think, Dobby? You th do you like it? I do. The crafts are quite fun. If you like this craft, be sure to hit like and subscribe. And if you want to know about more crafts in the future, be sure to hit the bell and um, you'll get notified every time there's a new video. So, Dobby, what do you think? It's party time! Woo! You're supposed to clean. You gotta clean everything up. Look, this place is a mess. I don't think so. You're mean. Why 
you gotta be so mean, man? 